waiting. Hey, Pinkettes. Hello, hello. I'm Michaela Pink and I'm back with another video. How's it going, boo boos? Hey, ooh, this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. You guys have heard me say this before on this channel. So this should not be something um, new or surprising, but welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michaela Pink, um, and we're back. We are back, back, back with another one. Um, another edge snatcher, sorry, another edge snatcher. Um, I get this question a lot. I get this uh, question about how do you, you know, um, what should I do if he's pressuring me to do it? How should I, you know, what should I say? What should my response be? What's the blah, 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 blah. So, that's what we're going to talk about. You don't need birth control. You need self-control, little babies. Let's just start off with my drink, shall we? You need self-control. I have been a big proponent on this channel. Hey, 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 hey. I've been a big proponent on this channel for accountability. Accountability, um, you know, taking control of your own life, um, making your own life happen, all of that, right? I have. Uh, since the very beginning, you know, you can create your own life. You don't have to be a victim. Let's stop being a victim. But I'm always preaching, right? This little subject right here. This little subject right here is something else. Ooh, I haven't caught a live in forever. Let me get on the live about birth control. Mmm, this is going to bring a whole lot of little pink heads out to the yard today. Yeah, it's going to bring a whole lot of uh, pinkets to the yard today. Mm -hmm. Wonder why. Wonder why. Anyway, you don't need birth control. You need self-control. Everything that you do is within your control. If you are over the age of 18 in the United States, everything you do is within your control. You can control what you accept. You can control what you don't accept. You can control how long you accept it. Um, you can control when you accept it, when you don't. There's a whole bunch of variables, right? Lots, lots of variables. But I think a lot of times women, people like to put the control or the decision making or the uh, responsibility on someone else, on someone else. If you learn to control your mind, if you learn to control yourself, you don't need birth control. The only women let me let me clear off my screen because I feel a little. Ooh, there we go. We're back. Feel a little blurry. The only women who need birth control are women without self control. Mm, another sip. I'm gonna beat you up a little bit, but I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna beat y'all up a little bit, but I'm gonna love you. Y'all need to cut it out. You don't need birth control if you ain't fucking. Ooh! Ooh! Just go ahead, right off the bat. You don't need birth control if you're not birthing your control. You don't need it. 
If you not out here letting this one and 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 this one just run all through that thing, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about it at all. At all. Right? You don't. Even if you're in a monogamous relationship, just because he says, I want to be exclusive, trampoline activities does not equal sex. I mean, does not equal love. If you are someone who can't control yourself, you need birth control. I grew up in a time where everybody was on birth control. Oh, I gotta get on birth control. Mamas was taking their daughters down to the, well, they really weren't. I'll, let me take that back. I grew up in a time where I was taught self-control. You don't need bring a baby up in here if you want to. <laughs> bring a baby in here and it's going to be a world of trouble for you. Being on birth control implies that I don't have the ability to tell this man no. I feel uncomfortable having standards. I am okay with potentially contracting AIDS. Y'all want to wear a mask, but won't wear a condom. How you worried about a baby? What? How you worried about, you worried about a baby? You worried about a baby, you ain't worried about AIDS though? You don't want a baby, you just want the, you, you won't. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There was a term for those types of women. We won't go there. We won't go there. But there was a term for those types of women. And it's bucket. Bucket is at the end of it. You can don't type it. It just is what it is. Buckets. Mm-hmm. That's what the why would you let somebody just run all through you in that type of a way? What does that say about you? It goes back to carrying yourself like a lady. Like a lady. But I'm on birth control and wonder if I should tell guys I'm on it. To tell a man that you're on birth control implies that I don't mind if we have trampoline activities unprotected. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Now, I understand let me, let, me, let me go ahead and just spell it all out for you. You need birth control if you don't have self-control. If you can't tell a man no, if you, have, if you are not able to have control of yourself, if you are not able to keep yourself out of situations where trampoline activities might go on, if you are unable to have enough confidence to say, if the only reason why you want me, sir, is so that you can have unprotected trampoline goings on with me, then I don't want you. Ah, oh, thank you, Ultimate Black Man. He says he's just dropping by to pay tithes. And he said, you ladies are looking so beautiful today. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. But it's the truth. It's the truth. Um, I hope more men will chime in on this conversation. But you don't need birth control if you have self-control. Self-control will trump any kind of other control. If I control myself, if I can control my weight, if I can tell myself, no, we're not eating this. No, we're not going to this place. No, I'm not going to allow these people to treat me this way. If you can tell yourself no, it's much easier to tell someone else no. But if you cannot do that, then that means that you can't tell anyone else no. If I can't control myself, it's going to be hard for me to control another. I have very good self-control. Very good self-control. You're not gonna take me nowhere. We're not, you're not gonna come over my house. We're not gonna just, oh, Netflix and chill. 
Oh, but his house is right around the corner from mine. Oh, but my mama know his daddy them. Oh, but our families are close. Oh, but no, uh, 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 no, no is the most, one of the most powerful words in the English language. And it is the smallest, one of the smallest words in the English language, but it is very possible. I mean, it's very powerful. Should one be celibate for the whole year while dating? Should we wait until marriage or until he pays for everything? You, okay. You need to wait until you know that a man is invested in you. If that's one month, great. If that's 12 months, great. But why are you having the need for birth control would imply that I'm having trampoline activities and I don't want a baby. But why are you doing that without some sort of real serious commitment? That's my essence of everything. That's my meanness of me, okay? And if I'm giving this to you and you haven't earned it, then you're worthless to me. If a man comes to you day one and he says, hey, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to, you know, everything. I don't need to know your name. I don't care what your mom and them look like. I don't want any sort of nothing. You what I want. Let's get married tomorrow. You're going to be like, what? Oh my God. What do you mean? Right? You're going to think something is wrong with that. Some of y'all might, but I'm just saying normally that would make you pause a little bit. If a man, if you give a man the very, not the, that's not even the very best of you, but your essence, if you allow him to be with you in that way and you're not even protected, what does that say about you? If you do it with him, thank you, Miss Jazz. If you do it with him, then that means you're going to do it with him and him and him as long as his game is strong enough. This is how a man thinks. If she's giving it to me this easy, she's probably going to be giving it to this one and that one and that one what kind of woman are you what kind of self-esteem do you have now there is no timeline oh i'm gonna wait until he gives me five thousand dollars because he's going to respect you whether you give it to him on the first date or the 15th date but it all matters how you carry yourself and the standards that you set mm. Mm. You can do it on the first date. I'm not saying you can't do it on the first date, but you need self-control. If you, if that's what you're doing, that's what you're doing. All of us are adults. All of us are grown. I'm not shunning a woman who is out here doing all of that, but think about it. Don't, I don't advocate you messing up your hormones and your body and all that because you can't control yourself learn how to control yourself when you control yourself you can control a man you can control any situation it's when you allow something else even if it is birth control you relying on this birth control to keep you from having a baby but you can still get pregnant on birth control Birth control ain't stopping nothing. You can get AIDS. You can get a whole lot of AIDS, girl. You can get wrapped up and get some AIDS. Forget a baby. Birth control ain't protecting you from AIDS. Y'all want to hoop and holler on the internet about AIDS, but you just let him dig all up in and through and didn't have nothing. Mmm. Sad, sad, sad. Hmm. But y'all worried about Corona. We know it's AIDS out there. Now we know for a fact it's AIDS out there. We don't know if Corona is real. Is these people making it up? We don't know if Corona, where Corona came from. We don't know how, none of that. Condoms do break. They do break. Absolutely. But the likelihood that y'all is doing the type of trampoline activities that's going to break a condom is real slim. Y'all ain't out here doing it like that. You're not. Come on, you're not. Let's be for real. I've never had that happen. Mm, I've never had that happen. I've never been on birth control a day in my life. Thank you. Thank you sincerely, Shauna, baby. Never been on birth control.
<laughs> you mean to tell me y'all out here just getting it like that? The way y'all breaking condoms and stuff? Okay, a condom might break, but you're not out here doing it like that. And you know it. Come on now. Some of us might be representing, but come on. I'm just saying, y'all, accountability, accountability. If you don't want a baby with this person, why are you laying down with him? Ask yourself that. If you don't want a baby with this person, he don't seem like father material. You don't think you can see yourself living the rest of your life in a parent relationship with him. Why are you laying down with him? Why does he deserve that part of you if you can't see him as a father for a child of yours? That's somebody you don't need to be laying down with. Mm. Your cousin said her stuff came yesterday and I said that's good. She called me weird because what girl is happy she's on her stuff? I was so confused. Yeah, okay. Just saying, y'all. Just saying. And if you learn yourself and you learn your you learn your body enough, you can learn when you can and you cannot do those activities to prevent you from becoming pregnant. Yes, there are times when, you know, this may not be, but there's never a time when you shouldn't have self-control. Just saying. Just saying. I know, yeah, there's apps to tell you. This is when you'll get pregnant. So don't do it. Y'all know I can only say certain words because YouTube is kind of quirky about that. But come on now. Um, and you're not supposed to let a man blank you. Okay. So we're going to watch the language in the comments. Because if not, YouTube will turn off the comments. So watch, watch the language. But um, yeah, y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Don't be, don't be that simple minded. Don't be that easy and gullible. Stop being easy. Stop being gullible. And you don't have to worry about birth control. People always ask me, how are you dating so many men? Oh my God. Dating does not equal access to my JJ. Just because you're dating me does not mean you get access to just ravage my stuff like that. No, it does not. We're dating. That's it. We're dating. Period. I'm dating you. That means you're taking me on dates. That means you're whatever. But we're not doing that just because we're dating. Just saying. I was thinking about getting an IUD, but I think you're talking to talking me out of it. You need to do what is best for you. If you know you out here about to bust it open for these men like this, if you know you don't have self-control, don't let this video stop you from getting an IUD, girl. Go get an IUD, a PPD, a A, B, C, and D. Get everything you need to keep you from getting in a situation that you can't control, but you need to ask yourself, why do I need an IUD? Does this mean I don't have self-control? And I would offer that you don't. If you need such strong restrictions on your body that you need to literally plug the entrance of your essence because you don't have self-control, there's a problem with that. There's a problem with that. A real, real problem if you have to get birth control that is going to be inside of your body or operating in your system for three to five years. Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all, this one's going to be short. Who has questions? Because I said what I said. The title is literally the entire video. I could say it 14 different ways and days and all of that. But it is what it is. Oh, thank you, Miss Antoinette. She says, for the people allergic to condoms, use skin and they have large size, so no excuses. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. If you're allergic to latex, there's alternatives to that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. Um...
What? Let me see. Do you think men know that they're doing what they're doing, having unprotected blank with you? Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Do they do? I think they know what they're doing. I hope they know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just got a 10 panel STD test. It's easy now to get it done at the lab. Know your status, get tested. Okay, stop doing it. Y'all all want a sugar daddy. All y'all want a sugar daddy and a husband, but y'all out here fucking and getting birth control. That don't go together. That don't make no good sense. You want to ask somebody advice on how to get a husband, but you out here fucking. A man is going to value something that he has to work for. A sugar daddy is not a sugar daddy if you giving him the pee pee. He's not. Mm -mm. Sugar daddies don't get sugar. That don't go together. Don't ask me how to get a husband, but then, well, what kind of birth control? Zero, none, because you won't need it. Well, what if he gay? I don't care. Y'all, I said this on my channel before, and oh my God, the whole, the whole chat blew up. I don't care if a man is gay. He could be gay. He could be sleeping with men, dogs, puppies, ducks, and chickens. I don't care where he put his pee pee because it's not going in me. It's not. I don't care. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You control everything. Y'all want to holler about how it's no good men out here. These men act like little girls. These men don't know how to be accountable. These men suck. These men don't understand their role. These men are, you know, wanting us to pay 50-50. These men are, it starts with you. It starts with you. Had your mama told your daddy no, then your nothing ass brother wouldn't be nothing today. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Your mama controlled that. It starts at A. If you don't want nothing ass men in the world, stop having nothing ass men. Raise your children. If you can't raise your children, don't have them. You need to get your mind right early so you can be whole and healthy as a mama. Then you can have a baby. Tubes, girl, you know what you doing when you lay down. You don't think he know what he doing. Tubes tied after having all your kids with your husband thoughts. Don't nobody need to tie nothing I got going on. You don't need to tie nothing. I'm not getting a tube tied at all. If it's meant for me to have some more babies, it's meant for me to have some more babies. I'm not. I don't want nothing surgically, medically done to me. Me in heaven and this man got this baby. If it don't involve all of this right here, then I don't need that. You're not tying my tubes and having me crazy and hot flashes for no reason and, you know, sweating and your body is going berserk and you cussing people out and going crazy because they didn't tie your tubes. My tubes don't need to be tied. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tell your husband, uh, he can wear one too. And what about people with PCOS or illnesses that have been treated with birth control? Not being cute, just genuine. I mean, if you have an illness that requires you to be on birth control, that's totally different. Health is always the first priority. So if birth control is helping you with a disorder that you have, of course, because there are chemical imbalances that some women experience and all these things. So I'm not speaking against that, of course. I'm talking about people that's out here fucking and... Now, now that I'm off birth control, you feel so much better. You love American accents. Oh, you're from the Bahamas. The Bahamas. Thank you. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. The birth control was taking my hair out and causing me weight gain. So, if you guys are attracted to me, I'm telling you guys questions. Questions. Who has questions about this? 
who has questions about not being on birth control? I know y'all agree now, but I'm quite sure that, well, where's my lipstick? Where's my lipstick? Cause I need my lipstick. I've never been on birth control. Everybody doesn't have great um, self-control. You need to work on it. I don't know how to give you self-control. I don't know what to tell you to, how to do it. Um, I don't know. But you need to be able to tell a man no and how to avoid pregnancy naturally. Very good question. Thank you for that. Very good question. Miss Sweetie Lamb would like to know how do you avoid um, pregnancy naturally? Stop having sex. No sex, no baby. That's how you do that. <laughs> no sex, no baby. It's simple as it gets. And can I talk about soul ties? Yes, absolutely, Miss Antoinette. Um, I don't believe in a soul tie. I don't believe in a soul tie. My soul is, oh, there, Miss AT. Oh, Miss AT, you had a whole bunch of little mouthy little comments to say. Welcome to the live. Oh, I love when people come back and they comment and think I didn't see what they said. Mm hmm. Hey, Miss AT. <laughs> Oh, she's about to bring the punch. She's finna bring that spike punch to the um, to the block party. Uh, so soul ties. I don't believe in soul ties. I do not believe in soul ties because I feel like um, my soul can't be tied to nothing. My soul is tied to whatever I say is tied to. Right. So I don't believe in that. I don't believe, oh, I'm always connected to him. I do believe that when a woman and a man are together in a manner, that women release a hormone that will make you attached to him. But just like you attach to something, you can unattach to it, right? Just like you uh, have tied your soul to this, you can untie it. So I don't, I don't believe in that. There's, I have self-control. I'm not going to be tied to nothing I don't want to be tied to. So if I'm not tied to something, I it's just I don't believe in it. You can say it and you can tell yourself that. You don't understand why I was mad. Let me go back. Who Who's ready for Petty Betty? Y'all know I'm a cancer. I keep score. Oh, who's ready for Petty Betty? We're not going to do that on this video. I'm not going to do that. But you, I'm going to tell you which video it was on. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I don't like that. I don't like little snarky comments. I'll be letting some of y'all live because I'll be seeing you on the video and I know you'll be back. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll be letting some people live just so I can drag them. Is that bad? Is that bad? And <laughs> let me go back. What'd you say? So I don't believe in soul ties. Uh let's go back. How to use your emotion. Oh, she tagged me. I thought that was something else. Everyone's saying, uh, track your cycles. Yes. I'm, I'm going to need Mickey to have one more sweet little boy. Your son is the best. Oh, so you know what? I would consider having a little girl. I would. If I could be guaranteed a little girl, I would have another baby. But, um, uh, again, that's with the benefit of marriage and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. But thank you. I think he's the best too. He's my little gumdrop lollipop. Mommy's little baby. Girl, I'm trying to find this comment because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it on the last video? Oh, here we go. Here's a good question. Uh, what if you like sex? Go on and do it. Y'all little nasty boots. If y'all like sex and y'all want to be all up and down in somebody and somebody jumping up on you and using you for that momentary little moment of pleasure, go on and do it. Go on and do it. 
that you can listen listen have all of the trampoline nasty disease wee wee pee pee you want i'm not allowing any man that's dirty and will put his and her 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 to come to me with that and thinking you finna be just free to be everything you want to be with me no ma'am absolutely not that's nasty y'all nasty Y'all nasty if you want to do that. You can like it, but at least protect yourself. Protect yourself from the doggishness of a man. You are a woman. You deserve the utmost respect, the utmost cleanliness, the utmost, I, I want the very best of you. If me and you have not gone down and been tested together and we, man, no, no. no I will fight somebody for even coming at me like that. You will never. Never come to me like that. You might, I might like to do it. Don't get me wrong now. There's some benefits to doing it. Mm-hmm. There's some benefits to doing it, but I'm not going to do it and knowing you out here. I don't know what you're doing. No, absolutely not. Um, This will be a silly question, but how do you know if a man respects you before you sleep with him? A lot of them be faking. They don't respect you. They don't. They respect themselves. Assume that a man does not respect you. I've, I've told you that. Assume that a man does not respect you because he doesn't. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Just saying. Hmm, let me see. What video was it on? I'm about to find this because she think, think I done forgot and didn't see you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm being petty at y'all's expense. I don't want to do that. Okay, let me go back to the questions. Do you ever use knowledge of your cycle to your advantage when it comes to men? For example, scientifically, women become more attractive when ovulating. Um, not really. Not really. Not really. No. Mm -mm. I have, but it just depends on my motive. And no, Miss A.T., we don't all need to agree on everything, but we, we do need to keep our opinions to ourselves when we have an opinion that differs. And you need to know and recognize who you're talking to and what channel you on when you make comments. You can stand behind what you want to say on your channel because nobody cares what you have to say on this channel. I'm just letting you know I saw you. Mm-hmm. You can stand behind it and in front of it. People do a whole bunch of stuff on the internet that they wouldn't really do in person. I love how y'all think that the internet, girl, listen, I love how y'all think that. Mm hmm. Anyway, um, we need to protect ourselves from unwanted pregnancies. We as women are, forget the pregnancy. Forget the pregnancy, y'all. Why are, if you are going to get birth control, that means that my concern is not being pregnant. What about AIDS and herpes and gonorrhea and syphilis and stuff that will make your eye come out and stuff that will make you, you know, people go blind behind trying to be on the trampoline. What about that stuff? Forget a baby. A baby is doable. I can do a baby. You can have a baby and drop it off with your mama now. What? Hello? Y'all worrying about a baby. Getting on birth control implies that I don't want a baby. Let's talk about all of that. Y'all don't care about AIDS? Y'all want to wear a mask, but y'all don't want to wear condoms. Who? who what? Mm-mm. I'm very disciplined. That's one thing. Very disciplined. I don't care who don't like it. He ain't going to get so mad that he won't stop calling me. I bet you that. I've never met a man who, um, since I started dating this way, has ever been like, oh, well, you're not doing it, so I don't want to be with you. That has never happened to me. If anything, they really want you, even especially when you don't give in to them. That's normally how it happens. So... I don't know, y'all. It's just a way for you to feel some sort of security, but there is no security in that. None. None. 
Mm-hmm. Right. They try that on insecure women. Is kissing okay? Trampoline activities is okay. Everything is okay. If you feel like it is okay. Everything is okay if you feel like it's okay. But think about it. Is, is it something you want to do? Are you in control of it? Is this something that I am initiating? If I want to do it, we're going to do whatever I want to do. If I want to do it. Because <laughs> sometimes I might want I'm Sometimes. Now, let me just keep it all the way 100. Okay? Let's talk about sometimes. Who want to talk about sometimes? Hallelujah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes I might have a do it in my spirit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes I might have a need. Sometimes I might feel like I want to be and do something. Okay? Because I'm grown. Because I done paid the cost to be the boss. Because I want it. And I like it. Mm-hmm. Amen. sometimes but it's when I want to do it you're not going to convince me you're not going to dupe me you're not going you, to you're, you're not going to do any of that you're not going to try to finagle it if I'm going to give it to you it's going to be because I want it sometimes amen sometimes sometimes I be want an entanglement sometimes I'm entangled with tangles entangled <laughs> Crisscross applesauce, all of that. Anyway, sometimes, cause I'm grown. Okay, so let's be all the way 100. I'm not saying that it won't be a time when you don't never want it. What I'm saying is, you're not. I'm not gonna be out here unprotected. I'm not gonna be out here getting diseases because I can't control myself. When I control it, that's when we gonna do it. If I don't want it, we not never gonna do it ever. I control me, which means I control you. Lay down, sir, Ugh. and get this work. Hello. I say when you get what I want you to have, sir, do you want it? Because I'm ready to give it. You take it when I give it. You don't convince me. Nope. If you ask for it, nope. If you beg for it, uh-uh. You'll know when I know. When I'm ready, that's when you need to be ready. Stay ready. Because you never know when it's going to happen. But we do it when I say. Not when you say. Birth control means he told me. And I couldn't control it. I control it all. Every time. What is the right way? Ain't no, listen. Ain't no right way. Ain't no right way. You do it when you want to do it. What's right for you may not be right for me. Hmm. He just better be ready. Because when I say I want, you better catch this train while it's rolling, sir. Because when the train starts rolling, the train is rolling. Ooh, ooh, the train is rolling. My train is rolling. <laughs> the train is, when the train gets to rolling, you got to be ready. But my train rolls when I say it rolls. I listen. Right there, you go. You 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 don't control nothing. So I have self control. I do it when I want to do it. I do it how I want to do it. I do it. You're gonna do it on these terms. You're gonna wear this while we're doing it. We're gonna do it like the, this. Is how we gonna control it. If you want it, this is how you gonna get it. If you don't want it, then go to the next one. She'll give it to you and they have no requirements. I got a whole bunch of requirements with mine. What exactly is wasting the pretty? I saw your video mentioned Nicki Minaj's pregnancy and you said she wasted the pretty. Please explain. Wasting the pretty means she waited too long. After a while, remember this, y'all? This is your pretty. Her pretty is way down here because she's been giving it to this one and giving it to that one and giving it to that one and giving it to that one. After a while, it's only so much left. 
Old ladies is ugly. Period. Most old ladies are ugly. You have some alien morph, you know, super saiyan ladies that are gorgeous at age 70. Everybody ain't like that. Most old ladies is ugly. So since you know you're going to be an ugly old lady, you got to do what you got to do while you're not an ugly old lady. Nicki Minaj is a geriatric obstetrics patient. If they call you geriatric anything, it's over with. You're too old for all of it. When you have reached over into the geriatric realm of life, sit down. It's time to be still and, and let it go. Do what you can, can, what you can. pray somebody want to come, blow on it a little bit every now and again. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> be through with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look it up. Look up geriatric gynecological patients and see what age it is. Y'all think I'll be lying. Y'all think I'll be hating. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Only in her 30s. 30 ain't young. People die at 70. If you 35 and you're going to die at 70, that means 50% of your life is over. Tell yourself the truth. Ain't no just in your 30s. Ain't no just in your 30s. It ain't. 35 is a geriatric pregnancy. There you go. I'm telling y'all what I know. That's why I can stand up here on 10 toes and say what I said two years ago. I can say what I said last year and I can say what I said today because it's going to remain the same. I don't forget what I said and I mean what I say. I'm not going to backtrack. I'm not going to do none of that. Come on. I said what I said. It's a geriatric patient. I don't be on here lying. I'm not lying about stuff y'all can find out about. Come on, girl. It's people out here dying at 40. And you, she just in her 30s. Okay. Come on now. Nicki Minaj has resources that the average woman doesn't have. Well, I'm glad she do. I'm glad she does have resources like the average woman does. And having a, a sideways baby. Your baby trying to come out sideways and horizontal. <laughs> Her baby trying to come out like this. <laughs> and <laughs> What are some good ways to deflect the PP while still leading them on? Just tell him, um, you, you don't have to deflect it. You don't, if you're such, if you carry yourself like a lady, if you carry yourself like a woman, you don't have to deflect. He's not even going to come at you like that. He's not. He's not. He's not going to come at you sideways like that. The men I'm dating don't come at me for sex. You get it when I, when I want you to have it. And that's it. You get it when I want you to have it. If I don't want you to have it, you're not going to get it. And that's just the way it is. Do you want to keep working for it? Do you want it? You want to see what it looks like? Let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like. Well, then, <laughs> girl, I don't, every man is disposable. Every man is disposable. I don't care who he is. You can leave. You don't want to wait. You can leave. I invite you to leave. I beg you to leave. Just like y'all that don't like these videos I make, I'll be begging people to unsubscribe. Please unsubscribe to me. Please unsubscribe for this channel and make sure you never watch my channel again. If you don't like what I'm saying today, tomorrow, the next day, leave me alone. I could, listen, what? I could care less. I'm the same in a, with a relationship. What? Girl, I don't, don't care at all. Not even a little bit. For real, for real. Um, is it gross to have kids after a certain age? No, it ain't gross. Is it gross? No, it's not gross. Um, so you are acting and looking sexy. He brings it up. How do you go around it? He can bring it up. Y'all scared to talk about it? Y'all don't want to, he can talk about it. Oh, we can talk about it all day long. That don't mean we're finna do nothing. Again, I control it. He can bring it up. That don't mean if he said, ooh, so when are you going to let me? <laughs> and you'll, 
you could say, oh, look at that lady in that red dress. Doesn't she look gorgeous? I thought you said you was gonna let me <laughs> in the <laughs> man. I think I need some light bulbs before I go home. So when the <laughs> and the <laughs> and the <laughs> do you like my necklace? I got this for my birthday. And if you ain't gotta talk about everything you talk about. You ain't got to talk about everything he talk about. You don't. You don't. Just saying. Just saying. Mm. <laughs> Girl, look. The spirit is saying to me that you will make another video today, Mickey. Oh, yeah. What else to tell you? What, what the spirit tell you? Jace! Thank you, Jace! Oh, it's a little fox with a trophy. Oh, one time for the foxy girls. Hey, one time for the foxy girls. Thank you. That's so sweet. You getting pregnant at 48? Go ahead. Go on. You gonna have a sideways baby too. Y'all babies gonna be trying to come out sideways and upside down and backwards. <laughs> okay. Brianna says... You better cha-cha slide around those. Yeah, come on now. Y'all, there's a way. There's a way. Come on, y'all. Let's not be naive. Y'all, I have done a lot of videos. Do y'all know how many videos I have done? Let's just talk about the number of videos I have done. Mm -mm -mm. Can you please talk about friendships and red flags there? I don't care about friendships. Raina? Raina, I, I, friendships are really, once you arrive at a certain age and stage in your life, you really don't care about friendships. Either you're my friend or you're not, you know, I, there, there aren't any red flags. If you make me feel like you're not my friend anymore, then you're not. And it's that simple. It's that simple. You 18. Oh, you 18. So you still care. Okay, baby. Um, I didn't care when I was 18. <laughs> I cared even less when I was 18. Hear me now. I cared even less when I was 18. Um, for real. So LaPeaches La says that I'm age shaming women. Mm -hmm. She feels like I'm age shaming women by telling you guys to have babies when you're younger. I'm saying you're too old because that is a medical fact that's a medical fact that after a certain do you know women have menopause i didn't make menopause idiot i didn't make menopause i did not create anything but these three little boys over here i'm not age shaming what i'm saying is you should have used that thing while it was in optimal pristine shape if you want a car dummy let's talk to the dummies because y'all just is getting on my Let's talk to the dummies. I'm, I'm calling you a dummy. Whoever said this little peach. Listen. If you want a brand new, if you want a car, if you say you want a car, okay? Let's just say. Are you going to go get a 1990 Honda Accord? Raise your hand in the comments. I want every person in the comments to raise their hand if you are going to go get a 1990 Honda. We are a living, existing, and breathing. In 2020, I don't want an old ass car. Now, am I shaming the old Hondas, no. Nah. The chances that there's something wrong with it are very high. The chances that it might not last too much longer are very high. That's all I'm saying. When your eggs have been re reproducing and producing 
for year after year after year after year after year after year. Your eggs is tired. Do you know that? Do you know that after so long, this man been producing sperm after sperm after sperm after sperm after sperm. After sperm and do you know them little soldiers might can't march as strong as they used to march to them eggs no more? Do you know that? That is a biological fact. That ain't something that Michaela Pink made up. It don't matter how old I am. I could be 55 years old and still take your man. By and by when the morning comes. Ha! Mm-hmm. Sure can. It don't matter how old I am. Oh. Tell you something about me, little girl. Oh. Back to the video. It ain't me age shaming nobody. It just is what it is. You're going to get old. It's only one way to stop getting old, and that's to die. So die. You don't want to get old, and you don't want to be age shamed, then die. No, I'm not 40. But if I was, even if I was, now, nah. mm -hmm. y'all just getting timed out and blocked. Ooh, come on, moderators. Fly under me. Fly under me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What Pam say? Pam? Oh, Pam got herself uh <laughs> Pam got herself timed out. <laughs> I love my moderators. Anyway, um, use it while you can, y'all. Use it while you can. Use it while you can. If y'all think I'm lying and try to shame you, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, my ladies over 35, and let them tell you, since y'all think I'm lying. What should you care about at 18? I've already done that video. At 18, I've done what I would tell my 18-year-old self. Go back and watch that. Mm -hmm. Go back and watch that. Should I, what should I, what, what do you want to care about? I can't tell you what to care about in your 20s. Care about what you want to care about. What matters to you? What mattered to me in my 20s was pee pee, getting a whole lot of it. I had a boyfriend and we was doing a thing, girl, at 20. When I was 20. In my 20s, I was doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it. That's what I was doing. Hell. I mean, come on. That might not be what you want to do. Just saying. Girl, look. Damn, Janet was 50-something when she had a kid, so she was a senior citizen pregnant. Yeah. Think about what you're saying. Most people might make it to 80. Google, what is the average age of death? Let's Google it. Since y'all think I'm so age shaming, what is the average age that people live to in the U.S.? And see what Google tell us. Google says 78.6 years. Hello? Do y'all hear me? 78.6 years. The average age in other countries is 82.3. If you're 50 years old, you're more than halfway done. If you're 40, you finna die. You ain't gonna live till your baby is 38 or 40. If you're 40 years old, you mean to tell me you want to be 60 at your child's graduation? Come on. Think, think. Come on. But I say 50 is old. Y'all love making me the bad guy. Y'all love being the victim. It ain't me. It's not me. This is just a fact. I'm saying stuff that people won't say. Ain't nobody going to tell you you old at a certain age, but you are. When I hit 40, I'm going to be old. That don't mean nothing. I'm going to still be fine. I'm going to still be fine. Oh. 
Now, it is what it is. You can't beat or outdo biology. Never. You can't. You don't need birth control. You need self-control. Control yourself and you won't have to worry about birthing something that is unwanted. Mm -hmm. Control yourself. It is what it is. The boot camp is coming up into the journey into the mind of the man. Um, they've posted like lots of different boot camps and all of this that I've participated in and done before now. And um, you can, all those are available. If you want a consultation, those are available as well. Um, yeah. Can you make more videos on Generation Z and high schoolers, uh-uh, I probably won't. Sorry, most, most, ain't nobody watching me that's that young. I hope not. <laughs> um, Mika, I control myself too much in my 20s, now I regret it. There you go, there you go, just saying. So that's the video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking the video on your way out. Don't forget to like the video. Um, I think I'm going to do another one. I feel another one, another video in my spirit. So I'm Michaela Pink and that's what I think. Bye.